This is a Pungamia branch. The new flowers are uh, getting ready. The buds will be opening soon. The new leaves have just sprouted, fresh ones. And then these are the uh, the seeds. This seed is uh, is re nowadays recommended for as a source of biofuel. And you can see plenty of seeds are there. Hanging everywhere. And this branch is quite tough even. And then they drop down. These are the open seeds. Seed with the shell. So these seeds contain plenty of oil and this, this particular Pongamia, goats don't eat it, cows don't eat it, it's very hardy, easy to grow, hard to kill and uh, the leaves are very good mulch, it's a natural uh, nitrogen fixer, it's a leguminous plant and the bees get lot of honey once a year from these flowers. It's good to plant in cities, It's right? a good plant tree to plant anywhere where it grows. I recommend it highly. One of the really nice trees in the world. Pongamia pinnata. And the oil has uh, medicinal properties. It's good for killing uh, some insects and all. And then also for scabies and skin diseases. It can be used for making soap. It can be used for lighting lamps. And for generating biofuels. The wood is also good for firewood in the end. It's a long lived tree, lives a couple of hundred years, grows quite fast, not very tall, medium sized tree. It's good for cities because it doesn't mind getting chopped. So if it is under the overhead wires, people chop off a few branches, it doesn't mind, it will grow back quite cheerfully. So it's a good plant tree for cities as well as countryside and farms. 